The world of business is facing unprecedented challenges as COVID-19 continues to pose a negative impact on its working climate. And with travel restrictions growing by the day, what does this mean for business travel and indeed meetings? Well, Pat McDonough joins me now. He's the CEO of Clarity Travel, which handles business travel for hundreds of UK organisations. So good morning to you, Pat. I was just saying in the introduction there, this is a rapidly evolving situation. Some countries have uh, travel bans. There are some borders closing. It's a confusing time for businesses. It, it certainly is, and it, it's definitely unprecedented as well. So um, with things moving very, very quickly, we're seeing things change by the hour, um, much less the, the day. I'd say we've seen three phases here. Uh, the initial outbreak, businesses obviously looked at travel bans to those affected areas, uh, as advised by the FCO. We probably have uh, an impact then of around about 10 to 15 percent slump in demand for business travel. Stage two really was where we've had a lot of our clients come to us and say we'd like to ban travel uh, internationally, full stop. So what that means is effectively people still travelling domestically but not internationally. That probably impacted demand by uh, 20 to 30 percent. And now, uh, increasingly, obviously, off the back of yesterday's news and, and, and actually just the escalation through this week, um, our clients now are increasingly banning all travel, trying to uh, limit the amount of cross-site travel they have within their own business. Um, they're cancelling external meetings, and, and therefore, we're actually very, very busy coping with a lot of changes to plans, Yes, I was just going to ask, I mean, how, what is picking up the slack here? Presumably video conferencing, etc. Yeah, um, quite a lot. Uh, obviously, um, most businesses these days have the, the option to work virtually for a, a, a limited period of time. Um, you know, the business travel industry exists really because there is a need for face-to-face -face contact uh, in order to do business. Um, also, you know, we can't forget that many of our clients uh, are, are out there travelling really for reasons that, that must continue. So things still need to be built. Um, people still need to be going out on, on charity work or uh, there may be uh, healthcare work and so on or government work that, that, that still has to carry on even at times of, of crisis like this. Uh, there really is, is, at some stage, no substitute for, uh, for, for physically being where you've got to be. Yeah, I was just going to ask you about that. I don't like to, in a way, given that you're in the business of uh, helping people arrange business travel. But yeah. do you think we're involuntarily moving into a sort of era whereby the video conferencing model uh, becomes the new norm? And I think what I'm asking is, do you see business travel coming back? Oh, oh yeah, absolutely. It, it, um, I, I think video conferencing and, and every other virtual uh, mode of working has been there for some time, and businesses do adopt it quite actively. Um, but as I say, you know, people travel for uh, many more reasons than simply uh, meeting and, 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 and maybe meeting internally. There are lots of reasons why businesses would travel. Um, air travel, uh, rail travel grow year on year on year. We see that continuing. This is a very difficult period, but actually, as, as an agency, we're finding that, you know, periods like this are when we're needed the most. Uh, businesses are obviously having to change their plans. We've got to be there to help them to help them do that. They're also enforcing policies at this point in time as well, whereby, you know, we actually systemise some of those things for them and, and ensure that there is no physical way of, of booking travel if they've got a ban on. We definitely see business travel coming back. Um, I think the question on everybody's lips is for how long will this be the case? Yes, indeed.